Okay, so this uh, podcast is going to be uh, is going to cover um, the parts of the microscope, what they do, and how to use a microscope. And we're going to practice this in class next time. So um, this should be a, re a review because you've already seen a podcast on uh, microscope parts and uses um, earlier in the year. But uh, this is just going to be a quick review because we're going to get to use them for a couple of days now. So this top uh, lens here the very top is called um, the eyepiece but sometimes it's called the ocular lens um, and this is where we uh, look through to look at the specimen um, here we've got the um, just below it we've got these lenses that are hanging off um, the microscope and this part that this line is pointing to um, I think previously we've called it a low um, objective lens. We're going to call this one the scanning objective lens. So this is really the one that we start with um, when we start viewing um, or looking for cells. And I'm only writing down the names of things. I want you to also jot down what um, we use that part for. Um, that's what you need to know because um, you're going to be using the microscope. So you should know what the parts are and why we use them, or how we use them, and what we do with them. Um, the 10x, which is magnifies image 10 times on its own, is where what we call the low power magnification. The one. Um, that says 40x is our high power or ha high um, objective magnification. The part just below where we put the slide is called the stage. Underneath the stage is a disc that allows different amounts of light to come through from the light source um, and the thing that controls how much light comes through that goes through the cell, through the objective lens through the ocular lens and to your eye is called the diaphragm Now we adjust how far this stage is from our lens um, by using two knobs, by using the coarse adjustment knob, you make big movements to this stage. So really the only, I want you to put a star next to this, the only um, objective lens that we use the coarse adjustment knob, knob with is the scanning objective lens. Um, if you use the course of adjustment knob with either the low power or the high power, you run the risk of running the stage and the slide into the objective lens, breaking the slide, but maybe even breaking the objective lens. And that's where, where it gets a little um, more costly. So we want to avoid that. So we, um, and because you're magnifying so high, um, a big adjustment that is made in the course adjustment on makes a huge difference in what you're looking at and sometimes um, gets you away from the image you're trying to focus in on. So um, course adjustment knobs will use just for the scanning objective lens. For the low power, high power, you move your hand sorry, to the fine adjustment knob. And this is going to move that stage in smaller increments or at a smaller rate. Um, so while you're looking through the objective lens and moving the stage, you'll be able to more um, accurately focus in on things, especially when you're magnify when you're looking through the low power or high power magnification. Now while I'm, while that only took four and a half minutes, I'm going to very quickly tell you about um, magnification. And the formula for total magnification is your the magnification of your eyepiece or ocular lens times 
whatever other lens you're looking at. So lens, I'm going to call it lens 2. So in this case, let's say that your eyepiece is 10x. So it's 10 times, and let's say we're looking at uh, the scanning um, objective lens. Well, if our scanning objective lens is 4x, then our total magnification is 40 times. We're looking at something 40 times um, its actual size. But if, let's compare that to our high power magnification. Our eyepiece does not change, so it's still 10. But our second lens, if we move our um, lenses around to go to this high power magnification or the high objective lens, we're now using a 40x. So really we're looking at an image 400 times larger than it actually is. So that's quite a big difference. Um, we're talking about 10 times bigger. Um, when we're comparing it to 40 times to 400, that's quite a big difference. So again, when we're on the high power, we want to use the spine adjustment knob because the image is so much bigger and any small change is really going to make a big difference in the image that we're looking at through the ocular lens. Okay, that wraps that up.